Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 29th. This is a daily reading for whoever it's meant to be for. It may not be for you. A lot of times these readings, they don't even resonate with me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, so just keep that in mind. Let's see what we got for the 29th. Now this could be a day off, whatever. What do we have for the 29th? What do we got for the 29th? Well, that Knight of Cups is an offer. Okay, somebody is coming in with an offer. Could be emotional support. Could be an offer of love. Maybe they see that, you know, you have a lot to offer. Maybe they think that you could make them happy. Um, they may be coming in with blind faith, okay? They may be coming in with blind faith. There could have been a delay, though. There could have been a delay, and now all of a sudden this person is moving forward. They may have been, may have been dealing with some opposition in their life, and now they're ready. Now they're ready to open their heart. I feel like this person has been trapped for sure, but they're coming out of that period with that Ten of Swords. They're coming out of their own mental prison. I think that they were going through some sort of repression, and I think that, that it's over. I do. I think that phase of their their healing is over, and I think that we have somebody that is probably moving forward in blind faith towards, you know having more, wanting more. I think this person wants more. He's, he's, this person, whoever it is, is just like, you know, I know I have a lot to offer, but I still want more. I still want that Ten of Cups. <clears throat> so I feel like somebody is, is looking for love and they're, they're moving forward. Um, yeah, the World card. This is a new beginning. It is. Some, and like I said, somebody has completed a difficult cycle in their lives. They have. They've learned some sort of lesson. It's like they've dealt with the opposition. You know, they went through this period of not, unable to master their emotions. But I feel like now, you know, that difficult period is over. I really do. I feel like that period, that cycle is over and they're ready for their new beginning. Um, ooh. So yeah, it looks to me as though we have somebody here that is probably making an offer that is really stable and secure and could lead to something long term. I mean, this one is is like ready to start over. It's like, I, I have something to give to you and I guarantee you that it'll be worth it. I'm guarantee, I guarantee you that, you know, it's something that is going to last. So you may be receiving a gift from somebody. This could even just be, this could be something you touch. This could actually be a gift. This could, this could be an apology as well. This is a message as well. So you could be just be receiving a message that, you know, makes you really, really happy. Okay. Somebody could be receiving a message that starts something new that leads to abundance and it leads to, you know, a really solid commitment. Okay, I think there's been fear of commitment, though. There has. There's been fear of commitment, and I think this person is not taking the traditional approach. Okay, this is not the traditional approach. I feel like this person is not your um, typical, not your typical uh, suitor. Um, whoever is coming forward, I feel like they have a lot of love to offer. And they're being very, very genuine. They are being very genuine. I feel like this person um, is ready, absolutely, positively ready to to get in and engaged with a just like a stable commitment. And somebody is ready. It's like they're ready. They don't want to be alone anymore. They've learned, they've learned a lot of life lessons. They've, they've, they've gained a lot of strength on their own. We have somebody here that is very self-sufficient. This person has gained a lot of respect. 
And I feel like they, they know that they have a lot to offer and they may know that the other person has a lot to offer. I really feel like we have somebody here that is, you know, definitely completing a difficult, difficult, difficult time in their period in their life where they have been really, really trapped in their own thoughts, you know, where they could have broken free, but for some reason they stayed there. They stayed there because it was comfortable. It was comfortable there. That's what they knew. I feel like they may have stayed, in, you know, hanging on to a commitment that had ended. You know, they may have tried to save something. They may have tried to save an old commitment. And it's like now they realize that they have to break free. They have to break free. You know, they don't need to be alone and they have something to offer. So I really feel as though we do have a major new beginning here. Um, I mean, this is a completion, this is a completion, this is a completion. I mean, we definitely have an ending here that has happened and somebody is headed towards a lot of abundance, wish fulfillment. I feel like the delay is over. It's like, and you don't even have to do anything. I feel like the universe is pushing this, okay? The universe is pushing this movement. I think that we are going to see some sort of movement. There could be somebody that's taking action and they're coming in with some sort of uh, genuine, real, sincere offer of love, okay? Uh, that's what this is. I feel like... Um, the storm is absolutely over. The storm is over. Abundance is coming. Somebody is receiving closure to a difficult situation. I mean, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> Another completion. Ten. Ten. It's like this. The, it's like dropping the burdens, dropping the past, letting go of the baggage. Somebody is making a conscious change to let go of what is hurting them. Somebody has been in a period of crisis for too too long, and it's been too burdensome. And now it's like all I, all I want is is my abundance. All I want is my stability. I think we have somebody here that is ready to go after a really abundant person. You know, it's like I I know what this person has to offer, and I need to go get it, and I want to go get it, and this is what I want. So I'm going to have to step outside of my comfort zone and go get it with blind faith. So I, I really feel as though there's an offer coming in. There is. And I think it's a it's an offer of love. It is an offer of love and it's a stable one. It's a solid what's real. It's a real, real, real offer of love. It's genuine. I think there's an opportunity to uh, find wish fulfillment here. These just fell out. Somebody has been scared. Somebody has been scared to follow their in intuition. Somebody um, didn't have the courage to to listen. It's like so they probably have been silent. Somebody has been silent and keeping their their truth to themselves, right? They haven't been speaking. But I think we've reached a point where now they know. They know this is part of the script. I mean, she's got the script right here. This is the high priestess. She's got the script. Okay, she knows. She knows that this is part of the script and that. You know, she's going to have to face her fears. or She or he, the high priestess, can be anybody. This is a person who is very highly intuitive and uses silence as their tool. Uses silence to harness their inner power to receive the messages that they need to get them to where they need to go and to help others as well. So I really feel like we have somebody here that has gained the knowledge that they need through solitude, through silence you know, to help them face their fears and move towards what their heart desires. So I really feel as though somebody is dropping some burdens and they're letting go of, you know, what has held them back from f f going after with their dreams, going after, wish, after their wish fulfillment. I feel as though somebody is deciding to step outside of their comfort zone and come forward with a real, genuine offer of love and emotional support. You know, that's what this looks like to me. So be prepared. Be prepared. Um, whoever this person is, they do have integrity, and they're willing to try new things. They're willing to start over. Whoever this person is, they're willing to do whatever it takes. It's like this person is... 
you know, has found their focus and they're, they're willing to give it a whirl. I definitely want to try this. That's what it looks like to me. It's like this person wants to try it because they see the opportunity for the Ten of Cups. You know, they see that there's an opportunity, if, you know. So anyway. Um, if you have been single and you have been waiting... You've been, if you have been single and you've been taking care of business and you, you're self-sufficient and you're enjoying life and you're abundant and you're not moping and you're holding your head up high and you got high self-esteem, be prepared. Be prepared because it looks to me like somebody is uh, wanting to come together with you and wanting to share with you. They're wanting to, you know, add you to their... It's almost like their legacy. Their, their, I can't think of the word for it. It's not legacy. You know, they see the opportunity to build with you. Put it that way. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Absolutely. This person is probably not your usual type. But it's soulmate. Soulmate. I mean, when we see the words, it's a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. And I think that whoever this person is, they feel it. They feel it. Yeah, we have a new beginning here. We do. Something big. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Whew, that's not a good one, huh? Somebody has been, been deceiving themselves. What have they been deceiving themselves with? I mean, what is this deception card? Let's get one of these. What is this deception? This fell out. Oh, about that golden opportunity. They, they've been lying to themselves. They've been scared of this opportunity. Somebody has been scared because it's such a good opportunity. Somebody has a golden opportunity which they have been afraid to take in their own hands. Somebody has been afraid, and that is no joke. That's the, that's the self-deception. Somebody has been afraid that this is too good to be true. This is unreal. I'm telling you right now, this is not unreal. This is a real, big, huge opportunity. Something that you can absolutely save. Something that you can keep. Something that you can bank on. Absolutely no doubt. Huge opportunity here. Somebody has manifested... <laughs> A new beginning. And they may have been trying to deny it because of fear. This is fear. They may have been lying about their true feelings. You know, wanted to make sure that they were making the right decision. Wanted to make sure what they were hearing, you know, what they were hearing up there, if, you know, what their intuition was telling them was right. It's like they were doubting their intuition. They were. They were doubting their intuition. But I think now it's like they can't deceive themselves because the messages are so strong. This is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. I mean, it is. It's real. This is the real deal right here. One more card. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that is what has happened here. We have somebody here who has a lot of self-respect. And everybody can see it. And it has made them very, very attractive. So I feel as though somebody has noticed the attractiveness because of somebody's own self-respect. And now they're ready. Now they're ready. And I think the storm is over and somebody is coming to you know, sweep you off your feet. I mean, the Knight of Cups, it's like, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. One more card. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's what's happening here. Somebody is breaking free from their mental prison, and it's time. It's like they know it's time. The time is now to walk forward with blind faith because this, this opportunity is too good and too big to pass up. It's perfect. It's a soulmate connection that could lead to marriage. So I feel like somebody is receiving an offer that seems like it's too good to be true, but it's the real. It's the real deal. It is. I think whoever is coming forward, they are being honest, they are being genuine, and they have some, some serious uh, love to offer. They do. It's like they're ready. They're ready. Um, 
that is what I have. I'm going to do a weekend reading next. Good luck.